Right. Okay, um, March 31st, 2015. This cockapoo, male, not sterilized, six years old, has been lost, is it? Lost for how long? For about two days. Lost for two days. And uh, SPCA found this dog, right? Yes. Two days ago, is it? No, today. Today, today yeah? yeah. And then uh, what happened after that? They caught us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then we went down to SPCA to call right. him. There was a dog standing at that time? No. It wasn't when standing? When SPCA caught me, he already told me that the legs, the hind's leg wasn't the moving. Leg, uh. mm. So they gave an injection? Mm, injection, painkiller. They did, huh? Yes. Okay, so, so so we already weigh the dog, we take the temperature, what temperature? 37.9 37.9, okay, it's quite quite near the normal. Now the first thing I do is examine the dog first, we check the membrane, the mucous membrane, see whether the anemia. Now this dog is definitely not, probably more than 6 years old, it's quite dirty to teeth. Huh? Okay. No, no dental work done. Now we check the mem membrane, it's quite pink, so it doesn't have anemia. Uh, this cherry eye, I think it's quite long, right? Mm, yeah. yeah, quite, quite long. long. Okay. So I don't think the owner is to worry about this. I'll check the ears. No pain. Then I'll just do a quick check on the heart and lungs and abdomen. Check on the heart and lungs, okay. Left and right, okay, right side. Heart and lungs are okay. I'll check the abdomen, palpation. Check the abdomen. So we just go by systematically, okay, so step by step. I'm not check the abdomen, pull up the tail. Did the dog eat and drink? We are not sure. Hmm. I'll check the abdomen for abdominal, spleen enlargement or liver, no, it's okay, no pain. Okay, now the, the thing is uh, we check below, after that, check below. Okay, any wounds or injuries? You hold the leg, hold the leg. Hold the leg. So check below. Okay, no pain now, okay. So now I'm going to check the spinal. Spinal. This dog is paralyzed. You can see that uh, he cannot stand on the back leg. He cannot stand. Two legs cannot stand, and then there's a strong urine smell. This shows that he cannot control his bladder. Okay, there's pain there. If you hold the hole here, hold the hand to here. And the assistant hold here. Okay, I'll check the, check the cervical and uh, Correct the lumbar and sacral spinal area by palpation fingers. Starting from here. A bit of pain here. There's not much pain. Okay, we put the dog down sideways. Ready? Okay, okay, pain. So, so since there's a, there's a big pain, most likely he had an accident. Probably affected the pelvis. The spinal is not bad. So it's most likely the pelvis. So I do the examination of the joints. Put the right one first. No pain. Then up to here, the hip, the pain is in the hip, okay. So the right hip pain, now I turn over the other side, come. Turn one, two, three, turn outside, or turn, turn to the right side, okay. No, just side, side, uh, side, 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 uh. So now I check the leg again, right one. Okay, the paw is okay. Hop is okay. Knee is okay, now we go to the hip. So there's no pain here. So the only pain is on the right hip. Okay, now I have to go to the placing reflex. 
I put the dot simulation please slip up or not. No, let's check. Whether you can feel the side. The right one can, the left one cannot. Actually not very good the reflex. Both are not, not good. Now compared to the front. The front is not so good on the right. The left one is okay. Okay, now one more time, I will check the hip again. Okay, ready? The other hip, okay, turn. Turn this side again, turn. Okay, turn up. Hold the hold here. Uh, turn, turn over again. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn to this side again. I'll check one more time. Just now the pin was on that side, right? The pin was on the right side. I'll check one more time. Pressure extension, abduction, abduction. There's no pain. No pain. Palpation. Okay, no pain. Now we turn over the other side. Okay, uh, it's pain on the other side. Okay, turn one, two, three. Turn this side. Okay. Now this side. This side is the one where the pain is. Okay, so we turn again. Just to check again. One, two, three. So you know exactly where's the pain. So that when you X-ray, you X-ray the right area. You know you can X-ray everywhere, but you don't know. You, you, you don't know where exactly. So this. So from what we know is, the lower leg is okay. Up to the knee is okay. Now the hip. No, it's not so bad again. No, not so painful. Okay, let me see that first. So we know that roughly the pain is around here. Around here. Huh? So you might have a dislocated hip. I'll just feel palpation. One more time. There's a bit of pain here. There is pain on the thoracic area. There's some pain here also. Because the, the vet gives some painkillers, mm. so the reason is I cannot detect pain mm -hmm. is because yeah. the vet gave a strong yeah. painkiller. Uh, so, but roughly, from my diagnosis, it's mm -hmm. mostly it's a hip injury, uh, it's a spinal injury, mm -hmm. because the two legs cannot stand up. Mm. Normally, if it's just one injury, the other can stand up. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so the best is an x ray, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, other, other than that, we will give the drip first and give antibiotic first. Huh? Next week can be done later. Uh, and then uh, maybe give him a wash above. Okay. Uh, the changes of life. Okay, finish it. Huh?